Hello everyone, welcome back. Now in this video, we are going to talk about all these technical parameters of one of the most important component of low voltage switchgear that is the air circuit breaker. We'll go and discuss about all these technical parameters, this data sheet uh, or the specification of ACB so that you get idea about what all these parameters mean. And this is uh, the presentation that I've taken from one of the most extensive course that we have created so far, low voltage switchgear level two. So uh, that this is the presentation from that course. Okay, so let us start with uh, the first parameter. So first we have here is the rated service voltage UE. Let me grab uh, the annotation. So this is the first thing that we are talking rated service voltage. Now you can see this is the voltage for which the circuit breaker is a design. Uh, here you can see it is mentioned as 800 volts, 900 volts or 1000 volts. So this is uh, the different range this particular manufacturer is having. And here we are discussing uh, the example of uh, ABB circuit breaker. So this is the rated service voltage for which the circuit breaker is designed. This is the voltage that circuit breaker will carry without any problem. All right. Uh, let's move to the next one. The next one is the rated insulation voltage or UI. This is, you can see it is mentioned as 1000 volt. Now there is a possibility that, um, uh, you know, the voltage may rise in the system um, and maybe stay there for a very long time. So this is the insulation voltage which shows that the breaker is capable of carrying 1000 volts um, without any problem in such scenarios. So that is the importance of that. Later on, you can see there is a rated impulse withstand voltage UIMP. This is uh, mentioned as 12 kilo volt. This indicates that in case if there is some impulse voltage occurs in the system, maybe because of lightning strokes or maybe because of load shedding or things like that, the breaker is capable of withstanding 12 kilo volts without any problem. The breaker is tested for this. So whenever I'm mentioning some sort of uh, values in data sheet or uh, in the technical specification, that means uh, that particular product is tested for that. And uh, this, all these values that you see are tested, um, are proved using the testing. Then frequency, uh, two options available can be suitable for 50 Hertz or 60 Hertz, depending on which uh, country you are. This is power frequency, what we are talking. Then uh, it comes into two different variants. So one is the fixed type, another one is the withdrawable type. Let me quickly show you the picture of that. So here you can see the two different types of variants that you will most commonly see in uh, the low voltage circuit breaker, especially the air circuit breaker. This one is the fixed type version. That means you are going to put it inside the cubicle and it will remain there uh, unless you manually go and uh, unbolt it. So it will be bolted in the panel and the second one is the withdrawable type circuit breaker. As the name suggests, you can take out the circuit breaker from panel when needed uh, and replace it with another in case uh, such kind of scenario arrives. So that is the difference between these two. Of course, uh, uh, both has their own advantages and disadvantages uh, and how to select them. We, we discussed about that in our course low voltage switch gear level two. So that is the two different types available, fixed type and withdrawable type. You see for withdrawable type, this one additional metal frame is needed so that you can, you know, rack in and rack out the breaker as and when needed. Uh, and this may make the breaker a little bit bulky uh, compared to the fixed variants. But of course, uh, withdrawable type has its own advantages, which we uh, discussed in the course. Now, moving on to the next and important parameter, which is suitable for isolation according to, which is IEC 60947-2. This is called as suitability for isolation. Now, you see in high voltage or in the medium voltage, we have a dedicated isolators connected in the system. Now, isolator is not only important for maintenance purpose, but it is also important because it gives a visible indication that the break, uh, the circuit is closed, uh, open, sorry. So there is no supply going. There is a visible and clear identification of that. But when we have a look at uh, the low voltage system where we are using circuit breakers, we may not use isolators frequently and which is okay. IEC says it is okay. So when you are using a withdrawable type circuit breaker, certainly when you remove the breaker, there is a visible isolation, right? So you don't need to have uh, uh, disconnectors for that. 
but a visible indication of that is very very important so that the operator can be 100% sure that the uh, there is no supply and he can work on that so for that uh, this term is their suitability of isolation so it means that the breaker of course breaker can also act as an isolator but it must provide some sort of reliable indications of that and this is what is uh, defined by this IEC here and that's why you will find a dedicated symbol for this so if you see the general symbol for circuit breaker is like this uh, we have a switch and there is a cross mark right this is the general indication of circuit breaker but if that circuit breaker is also suitable for isolation then you will also find a horizontal line here so this symbol wherever you see that means it is a circuit breaker and which is also um, offer suitability for isolation a very important parameter about the air circuit breaker which takes us to the next parameter now this is just uh, the different variants of uh, the product which we will not talk about the next important rating is rated uninterrupted current IU at 40 degrees now this is uh, the rated normal current of the breaker which breaker can carry continuously without any problem but there is a condition the condition is of the rated ambient temperature which is mentioned as 40 degrees now whatever values you see here let's say for example 1250 amps is guaranteed uh, at only 40 degree ambient if your site temperature is going beyond that then it's a special case and in that case you need to consider the derating factor which and uh, what is derating and things like that we we discussed that about that in detail in our course so uh, that is very important so 40 degrees and these values are uh, you know confirmed that means the breaker will be able to carry this current continuously without any problem without any overheating but the ambient temperature goes beyond that then this value may not be true so there the d rating must be applied so that is this uh, rated current uninterrupted current the next is uh, you see neutral pole current carrying capacity for four pole circuit breaker now in air circuit breaker you get two option you can either go with three pole circuit breaker or the four pole circuit breaker the fourth pole is for the neutral okay so in case if you are using the fourth pole a circuit breaker with neutral also in that case you can see the current carrying capacity of uh, that is mentioned here and which is generally the percentage of the rated uninterrupted current so for this case you can see it is 100 percent so that means the neutral can also carry uh, 1250 amps uh, continuously without any problem but as we go up in the current rating for example you see it here when the current rating is uh, 6300 but the neutral can only carry 50% of that right so that is the limitation comes when you go to um, the higher current and of course this is not required I mean you uh, it's very rare scenario when uh, 6000 ampere will flow from the neutral so that is uh, this rating uh, which talks about the current carrying capacity of the neutral which takes us to the next uh, voltage so rate, uh, rated service voltage we already talked about now this is interesting rated ultimate short circuit breaking capacity ICU now you may have you may be aware of uh, the very commonly seen rating the rated short circuit breaking capacity now medium voltage low voltage there is medium voltage high voltage there is only one rating for that but in low voltage system the short circuit breaking capacity is divided into two different parameters the parameter one is this uh, the breaking ultimate breaking capacity and the second parameter is the service short circuit breaking capacity now what is that uh, let us understand so when i say ultimate breaking capacity you can see for 800 volts uh, if the rated voltage is 800 volts uh, then the breaking capacity that i can provide is 35 kilo ampere this is ultimate breaking capacity which means if 35 kilo ampere occurs in the system the short circuit occurs in the system my breaker will be able to break that current no problem but but if that happens the reusability of the circuit breaker is not guaranteed and this is defined by IEC okay this is not defined by the manufacturer but this is what is said by the IEC standard if ultimate short circuit happens uh, then the breaker will be able to trip that but it may not guarantee the reu reusability of the circuit breaker 
and this type of ultimate breaking may occur uh, because of various reason uh, and may be also rare in the system and opposite to that the servit short circuit breaking capacity is something that if that particular current short circuit current happens in the system the breaker will be able to trip that no problem and you can also reuse the breaker no problem so that is the difference between the ultimate short circuit and the service short circuit so you can see uh, generally the service short circuit is always mentioned as the percentage of the ultimate short circuit so you can see it is 100% so wherever uh, 35 kilo ampere is there uh, and which is ultimate short circuit is equal to the service short circuit so of course you can use uh, the breaker repeatedly but if you see uh, for uh, some of now here Uh, everything is given as 100% so this is good but there will be some scenarios where uh, there will be difference between the ultimate short circuit and uh, the service short circuit so ultimate short circuit may be higher 100 kilo ampere 150 kilo ampere the service short circuit may, um, may be lesser than that so that type of scenario can also be seen but it is very important that you understand the difference between these two and i hope uh, this is clear so ultimate short circuit is something that the breaker will be able to trip but the reusability is not guaranteed uh, the service short circuit is breaker will be trip and also can be reused for another short circuit so that is the basic difference between these two now uh, the next parameter is the rated short circuit with stand current now it is given for 1 second or 3 second of course whenever short circuit happens uh, the circuit breaker should be able to carry that current for a certain time so that the breaker can get a sufficient time to break and there are two ratings generally you will see 1 second and 3 seconds and this may be also the time uh, which relay might take to sense it and give the signal to that so uh, you can see for 1 second 35 kilo ampere it can carry but if it is going for 3 seconds uh, then the rating drops to 30 uh, kilo ampere now this may vary manufacturer to manufacturer so just have a look at uh, their catalogs the next is the rated short circuit making current are also referred to as the peak current so this is a peak value and you will see a p will be mentioned uh, in the ratings now what happens is whenever short circuit happens during the first few cycles of the short circuit the current goes to a very high level but it remains in the system for a very short time it's a transient and that's why the rating is peak rating right and ic has defined this as it can go up to 2.5 times that of the rated short circuit current 60 hertz uh, that value may vary so this is the rated short circuit making current very important uh, to understand because this is the peak value different than that of uh, the rms value of the short circuit current so the breaker must be able to uh, carry that for a limited time the next and the last category that you will see is this uh, utilization category of uh, the circuit breaker now you see generally here all the circuit breakers and most of the air circuit breakers are category b circuit breaker now what is this category b this means that the breaker will be having the capabilities to adjust the trip time so i will set the breaker in such a way that the breaker will not trip immediately once the fault is detected but it will take some time and then trip now this is very important when you have to coordinate with the circuit breaker connected downstream so you want to wait for that breaker to trip and in case if that is not happening you go to the main breaker and then the main breaker trip so this is to avoid uh, the service continuity issue so that's why the category b indicates that trip uh, time adjustment is possible there is another category which is the category a Uh, which indicates that breaker do not have uh, the capabilities where the trip time can be adjusted the, it can be delayed so that capabilities are not there generally uh, the mcb that we use in our in our house or in some cases few mccbs uh, will have this category a of course in home application we don't want any delay uh, in the trip the mcb should trip immediately uh, that's why this category is given to that type of circuit breakers for for ecbs uh, you will find having the category b is always advantageous all right so uh, i hope you understood all these uh, parameters of circuit breaker this is very very important if you are someone who is working uh, in the low voltage field or in the switchgear industry uh, definitely this is important now 
we also discussed about how do we select uh, this air circuit breaker uh, not only air circuit breaker but also the mccbs the different parameters of mccbs different accessories that we have for acb mccb uh, in in one of the most extensive course that we have created that is low voltage switchgear level 2 if you are interested you can go and check it out the link for it will be provided down in the description if you want to learn more on the circuit breaker then i have i have a dedicated playlist on youtube which talks on uh, the circuit breaker and that also i'll provide link in the description definitely go and check it out so that's all for this video guys uh, i hope you found it useful if what if it was useful give a thumbs up thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in my next one but till then keep watching keep learning